I'm going to show you the inside of her book. We're going to show you a little of him doing the lesson. Um, Welcome to Learning with Boys. Today I'm going to be taking you with me to look at Science Shepherd, the Earth Science, the curriculum we are using for my sixth grader this school year. It is an online program. They also have a workbook he uses. Also going to ask him his thoughts about the curriculum. But I do want to let you know I am a homeschool mom of four boys. This is our 16th year. I have graduated too. I have a sixth grader and an 11th grader this school year. So this is Science Shepherd. It is a biblical Christian worldview curriculum. It is an online curriculum. And I'm gonna show you some of that here in a minute. They have given me this curriculum to use in exchange for my review. Now I am gonna give more probably a better review at the end of the school year, but I have a lot of questions about how it is going and that people wanting to see this. So I hope this is helpful and answers some questions we are not not even halfway through yet, so. But if you like homeschool content, I do share my homeschool journey past and present with you all. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. That would encourage me so much. So let's see what my son has to say about it and then we'll look into the curriculum. All right, today we are going to take a look at Science Shepherd. I'm gonna show you the inside of her book. We're gonna show you a little of him doing the lesson. I'm gonna ask, Marshall, my son here, just a couple questions. Are you liking Science Shepherd? I guess. You guess. What do you like about it? The pictures. The pictures. So you like that it's on the computer and he's talking to you and giving you visuals. What so far that you've learned about? And maybe your favorite thing? Uh, so far, glaciers. Glaciers, okay. What do you... If you sort of zoom down here and see what else you're going to learn about, what are you looking forward to learning about? Uh, earthquakes. Earthquakes. So, okay. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this. I'm going to show you the inside of the books. I have level B and I also have level A. They sent me both, but I'm going to show you what level A is and give you a lot more information. And then we'll come back. I'm going to let him work on his lesson for today and give you an idea how that okay so as you can see my son does not like to talk on the camera but he is my talker so i just have to share that with you but i am excited to share a little bit of the inside of these books with you and a little view of what it looks like on the computer i do want to share with you that what drew me to this curriculum was the christian worldview it does have a biblical worldview on the literal six days of creation he does a great job also just explaining the different views. He doesn't just focus on that. He gives you both sides of it. He talks about creationism and naturalism, and he really spends quite a bit of time making sure that you understand the different views because your kids will deal with that as they get older in different curriculums. And we actually have talked about things. My son is familiar with all that, but I am encouraged to hear it explained upfront and really even entwined throughout the different lessons. He um, really gives you both views as he's talking about different subjects. So I really do appreciate that. So let's just take a look inside the books and then I'll give you a look at the online computer program. Okay, here is the workbook. This is workbook B. They also sent me workbook A. I'll give you a little look in that also. I really want to encourage you, you can actually get on the site and look at samples of both, samples of the videos, um, read all about them, and I really feel like that's a good idea for any curriculum that you are thinking about and praying about. So this is his workbook. It's very basic, simple, it's spiral. It really just gets right into the um, content and tells you, you know, what lesson class you'll be on and how many pages. Now, the videos are for both A and B, but there'll be a lot more work pages in level B. So it starts out pretty basic. It does give you an intro, and this is where, where he really talks about creation and naturalism. Really just gives you a solid foundation in understanding the difference and they do have some word searches. They also have some puzzles. They do have activity. Oh, they also have crossword puzzles. 
He has not done the puzzles as much. Um, he really likes, enjoys the videos and does the lesson. Now, I was trying to show you an activity. He really enjoyed this lesson about the layers of the earth and the video does an amazing job in explaining everything. And then here is one of the activities and we actually did not do this. And there is not an activity for every lesson. He hasn't really kept up with the activities. And he really just wants to watch the videos and do the lesson. And sometimes, sometimes he'll do a couple a day, especially if he has missed one. But he wants to know what's next. He's very excited about it. So um, there are some pictures in here. I'm sort of skipping way ahead here. So talks about the food chain, ocean floor all kinds of things you're gonna be filling out. Now, let me just give you a peek at the level A. So they could, if you had a younger child, because this is, level A would be for grades two to four, the workbook, and which is around ages seven to 10, and then B would be for grades four through sixth, which my son is in sixth, ages 10 to 12, and my son will, be 12 by the end of the school year. So that just gives you an idea. And he is having no problem doing this independently on his own. Now, there is not, this is definitely a thinner book. So there's not as many work pages in here. The print is bigger. Um, the activities look a little bit different. Definitely less questions, easier questions. So a little bit different than it will be for the older book. So I wanted to just give you a peek in there, but again, I really encourage you to look on the site and I'll link that below and you can check them out and look at it more in detail. Okay, so he has all the lessons here on this side of the computer. The ones checked off are the ones that he has done and these are weeks. So we are a little behind because we did get it um, set up a little bit later but he's going to go ahead and start on his first lesson, which is how long? Five minutes and 11 seconds. And then he has the notebook with questions and answers here. Okay, here he is starting on his lesson. Now he does, this is like a five day a week program. He usually does it in three or four days. Sometimes he doubles up. So I just wanted to let you know that. And also here is a sample of an earlier lesson when he did glaciers, which he really enjoyed. Okay, I did want to show you once you are on here that it gives you an idea of the ones that you have done. So they'll be checked off and they're always right here. Always gives you like a continue. If you wanna to continue to the next lesson down at the bottom. And so he will be on week, let's see, is he finished seven? Yeah, he'll be on week eight. He's actually done some of week eight. So it'll put a check mark here when you actually finish the week. So he has one more day and then he'll be on earthquakes, which I think was the one he was excited about. And then it goes into earthquakes and volcanoes. So there is a lot, paleontology, oceanography, um, meteorology, some climate change, energy and dominion. And then up here, it's introduction, worldviews, geology, geology and glaciers and gets into glaciers. Very interesting, all very interesting. So wanted to share when they're looking at it, this is what they see. And then they're just hitting play and watching the video and filling out the questions. Okay, I do wanna encourage you that you can go look at this. You can look at samples. They have so many different subjects. Intro to science for like early elementary. You can combine these videos with the two grades that I mentioned, which was level A, which is grade two to four, and then grades four to six. Um, and then they have two different books. It's just, they will not be as an intense. They may not even have to watch some of the videos. I do think it'd be great for all ages. I personally, if I would have known about this when my boys were younger, I would have loved it. I would have definitely taken advantage of it. Even if you want to add things to it, this is not taking us a long time, under 30 minutes a day between the videos and him doing the classwork. But you can always add in some books. Now, I have thought about doing that, but you know what? I haven't. 
gotten to it and it's okay because I really feel like this is enough. You know why? Because he comes to me and he talks about it. He reminds me of things that were said and talked about and he's remembering it. So I think that's the important thing is that he is learning and he is enjoying it. I'm very pleased about that and very happy about that. So, all right. I do appreciate you all watching. I hope this video was helpful and answered any questions that you may have. If there was something that I missed, please ask below. Um, I will do my best to answer you and I will give more reviews throughout the year and how things are going, not just with this curriculum, but with both my sixth grader and my 11th grader. All right. Thank you again for watching. And I do hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon.